What do you talk about on your dates? Oh, movies and popular mm -hmm. songs. Orchestras, dancing. Mm -hmm. Popular songs. Larry's chosen profession, engineering. No, I don't understand any of it. It's gross. I don't like to hear about it. Sue, honey, I didn't know you felt that way. That's because you never listen. Larry, you're a dullard. Well, it seems you two may have some things to talk over and settle. Idiots. Might well ask yourself some questions before you get too serious about marriage. Well, uh, what do you mean? What sort of questions? Well, questions for Cupid. Hmm? You might say he should ask them before he fires those arrows. Uh, are you licensed, sir? We call this Cupid's checklist. Have we entered your fantasy First, kingdom? You have similar background, similar basis for your ideals and standards. Pure bloodlines. Second, Cupid is anal. Are you real friends? Comrades, pals. Through thick and thin. And third, are you from the same family? You both understand marriage. Huh? Oh, not the kind in most movies or most popular songs. We love popular but the real songs. The everyday kind of marriage between real people. You understand? Oh, well, golly, Mr. Hall, I don't know the answers to all those questions. I just know that I'm in love with Sue. Is that bad? No, that's good. Shut up, Iris. Sure. <laughs> and it's good when you recognize that you don't know the answer. It's a good sign. I don't know. Anything. I think we're friends. Hmm? And maybe we can understand marriage, but background. How do they affect getting married? Well, come over here a minute. Perhaps I can show you what I mean. Put these on. What's that? I call it a marriage development board. Patent pending. It represents the psychological distance between a husband and a wife from the time they are born until they die. Bobby Orr's electric marriage, real marriage action. <laughs> what does it all mean? Well, let's set it up for you and Sue. Ah. When you are born, mm -hmm. you inherit a great many differences <laughs> from your parents. Uh -huh. That's part of your background. Yeah. That makes sense, all right. <laughs> now, as you grow up, you each develop separate and unique personalities. Unless you're finished. Your mental growth. Represented by Tom Dewey. Your emotional outlook. It's a little Hitler baby of it. Your standards and ideals. Your Zephon Wars from Beta Larry, 3. Very distinctly masculine outlook on life. Thank you. So your feminine way of looking at things. Is wrong. Your capacities to love and be loved. Are all missing. These and many other ways you each acquire a background. So that when you first met, you were probably farther apart. Probably more distinct individuals than when you were born. But I don't want to marry a girl like me. Hmm? I want to marry a man like me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Well, even though we're close together here, we don't know how far apart we are there. That's right. When you two met, there was probably an early physical reaction. Oh, yeah. A romantic attraction that pulled you together. A love appeal that hit you sort of boing. You saw my boing? How did you know? Well, it happened to me. Mm. It happens in some degree to most couples who become happily married. But it takes more than this boing. Sometimes well, there's you see, a if you're too far apart psychologically. If one of you is cool. If your backgrounds are not similar enough, it can cause a great deal of argument and unhappiness until it's gone. Where'd it go? We're That's gonna what die. You've been saying about your romantic love. If these other things cause a breakup. But well, where's the rubber band? Yes, sir. This is forever with Mary and me. Fine, I hope so. <laughs> Gee, huh? Guess I don't like you. Doesn't take an engineer to see this. I'm not listening. A bad part of the curve dum, 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 dum. I'm not listening. Dum, 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 dum. All of them. Yeah. Gee, Bullwinkle. I see our chances aren't so good now. What are we going to do? I thought you were going to help us get married. Well, frankly, neither of you has a chance for love ever. So, you're available, Sue. I believe I can. I think you two have a lot of what it takes to build a successful marriage. Yet. You wouldn't try to plan and build a house in three months, would you? Sure, why not? Shouldn't a marriage have better planning? On belay. <laughs> you two are going to build a successful family team that will last for 40 or 50 years. Suddenly, their marriage is the Iger sanction. How long do you think it should take to get ready for it? This approach is engineering. Look out. All right. You want to play rough? <laughs> How do we know when we've done it? Oh, boy. Back to the dolls. When the two of you are ready for marriage, you'll sense a new feeling between you. The two of you united as a pair. Thinking as one unit, acting as one unit, in the building of a marriage and a new family. Form a commando Your unit. Your sense of parents, 
shows up in the way in which you consider what's best for the pair of you, over what you want individually for yourself. Think how often you speak of things from my point of view Ow. instead of Ow. ours. Ow. How often Ow. you say, Maurice, we are leaving! Of... Sorry, back in the I guess it wasn't here, my man. folks that needed convincing, it's me. I mean, it's us, isn't it, Larry? Yeah, we'll say. 